guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Will I Bite video and you guys know I love these videos, I love making them and I am trying to do a bi-weekly series. So every other week I will have one of these videos go live on like a Sunday or Monday typically. And yeah, I feel like I don't really have enough to do a weekly segment on my channel, but um, I thought every two weeks was the perfect amount of time so that I can gather up some content and things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. And I usually use trend mood and the first thing I see, <laughs> this is really funny, but uh, Morphe is coming out with the 39S palette. It's called Such a Gem and it's basically a giant purple palette. It looks like there's quite a few shimmer shades in here, 35 bucks, 38 shades, and there's gonna be one pressed glitter in here as well, just so you guys know. I don't hate this palette, but it's definitely giving me like Morphe vibes. <laughs> like, I feel like I thought they were done with doing such big palettes, and so the fact that they're you know, coming out with one of these again is kind of giving me like some kind of vibe. It's just giving me a Morphe vibe and honestly, I'm not gonna buy this. It's just not to me, but I can see somebody that really loves pinks and purples like going for this. I am so happy with my It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop as far as purples go and I have tons of pink eyeshadow so I don't need this, but yeah, and we don't have our launch date yet, do we? No, doesn't look like we do, but I'm sure it'll be out soon enough. So Ofra has come out with some skincare products. I don't know if they already have a skincare line, but it looks like they came out with a Froze peel-off mask, a soft pearl peel, and a dry lotion, all in like the under $35 price range. I don't need any more skincare right now, but it looks interesting. Also, Kylie Jenner revealed that she's coming out with skincare. It's called Kylie Skin. This will launch on May 22nd. I haven't really talked about Kylie makeup in a long time. It's just like so repetitive, you know? Um, she's definitely building her little empire and uh, there's no shade there um, as far as I'm concerned. If people want to buy her stuff, like great. I guess it's just more skincare options. I think that's always a good thing. She has a lot of young followers, so anyone just like leading them in the path of like good skincare, taking care of their skin. I think that's a good message. So hopefully, um, you know, it'll work out. <laughs> Just being so positive today. Okay, so Too Faced is coming out with some new products. There's gonna be a triple scoop highlighter palette and a pineapple glow moisture and brightening face masks. So it looks like they're done with the glow jobs, are they? Now they're on to pineapples. Um, that's interesting. Um, the highlighter palette looks really, really cute. I can see a lot of people, you know, being drawn to that because who doesn't love a good highlighter palette in the summertime? As far as Too Faced and their skincare products, I don't really have a whole lot to say. Again, I guess, you know, encouraging kids to be concerned about skincare is always a positive. <laughs> I'm really, I'm digging deep here, guys. Okay, so Juvia's Place, back in stock. I feel like I've already talked about this. This is the Nubian 3. It's a coral palette. Combination of cool and warm tones for 20 bucks. And it will be coming soon to Ulta Beauty as well. So, full disclosure, I wanted to not make my Will I Buy video about my no-buy, but I am on a no-buy. I know, I'm just going to give you a second. If you fell out of your chair, I understand. I'm gonna give you a minute to get up, situate yourself. Okay, so I got sidetracked because I got a phone call from my father-in-law, by the way. Okay, so, okay. What was I talking about, the Nubian palette? Uh, I seriously don't know what I was saying. So, as far as this palette goes, just to get it over with, I don't think I'll ever buy this. Like, I haven't bought it now. It's gonna be irrelevant in like, a minute, like maybe like tomorrow, it's gonna be irrelevant. There's gonna be a new coral palette, and I think I'm just gonna wait until the next one comes along. I think it's a beautiful palette. If you love it, like 
awesome. I think it's gonna look beautiful. Like I saw this look that they shared with this girl with like the deepest, like, well, not the deepest, but like a deep skin tone. And it looked so stunning on her. I had to share that photo on my Instagram because it was so beautiful. And it's so nice to see like these different skin tones on promo <laughs> material. So that was gorgeous. And yeah, I'm so happy they came out with something that some of the neutral lovers could buy. I, not for me. I'm okay without it. That's fine. Jue is sneak peeking a new eyeshadow palette. This is their summer 2019 palette. Um, supposed to launch end of May. From the little peek, it looks like it's gonna be like an icy betch type palette. Some greens, some blues, and some shimmers. So yeah, it looks great. I have one Jue eyeshadow palette. I picked up their Dragonfly palette from the holiday collection because it was on like super sale. Have not used it yet, but Tina from the Fancy Face was raving about that palette a few months ago, so I bought it when I could get a good deal on it. Um, I don't see myself rushing to buy this one, but you know, whatever. So looks like they announced that Kendall Jenner is coming out with her own beauty line. I think Kendall is beautiful, <laughs> um, so good for her. I won't personally be buying her makeup or skincare, but good for her. Elf did a shade extension on their flawless fit. <laughs> Elf has come out with a shade extension of their flawless finished best selling liquid foundation. They now have 40 shades, and this is a lightweight, oil free formula, blends naturally into skin, has a semi matte finish that lasts all day long. The formula helps restore uneven skin textures and tones for visibly brighter skin for all skin types, $6 each, now available at Elf, Ulta, Target, and Walmart. I think this is really cool. I actually have worn this foundation. There was a shade that worked with my skin tone, and I actually really liked it. I even use this foundation in my kit when I do other people's makeup because I think it's very close to the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. It is, I think, full coverage, and you know, that's my jam. Um, so I really like this and I love that they did a shade extension so people with different skin tones can try it. I don't think they had a lot of deep shades so I think they've definitely added to the darker medium complexion side which is amazing for them. And yeah, I'm so glad that e.l.f. got on the bandwagon and came out with some new shades. Okay, so Huda Beauty is revealing that she's coming out with a setting spray. It's called the Resting Boss Face. It's a waterproof ultra matte finish and it's coming soon to Huda Beauty. It looks like it's an aerosol spray, which I think the only brand I know that makes an aerosol setting spray is Morphe. I don't know if there's any others. If you guys do, let me know. I don't know, whatever. So this is cool. I have so many setting sprays. If, if I were to move my camera just a little bit that way, you guys will see them. So I don't need to buy this. I'm good. I will be passing on that. Fenty Beauty launched their summer collection. It's so fun. I saw it in person at my Sephora inside JCPenney. The lipsticks look beautiful, but they're not shades I would wear ever. And then the eyeliners are so fun. If I wasn't on a no-buy, I would have bought all of these shades, honestly. And then I got to see them in store and I swatched them and I honestly would love the kit with the neon green and then the pastel greens. So I like the two on the ends. The middle one is cool too. I just don't know how much that'll stand out on my skin tone. So I would pass on that or I might get all three when I'm done with my no buy or a Sephora sale comes along or something like that. But for now, I'm okay with skipping all of those. I was very proud of myself for walking away and not buying anything. Um, Too Faced is coming out with a new mascara. It's called Damn Girl Mascara for 24 hour lashes, curl lashes, 97% volume, 100% intense black lashes. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? 100% intense black lashes okay will be available june 6 online at sephora so sounds really interesting i mean they have their Too faced better than sex mascara so i feel like they are well known for their better than sex mascara i personally don't think the mascara is better than sex the mascara isn't even better than mascara like the monster big mascara is better than Too faced better than sex mascara so they should really rethink that name but 
uh, yeah, not interested, but just want to let you guys know. And then Viseart is coming out with two new palettes. This is the Rose Edit, and uh, they're doing a warm edit. Each includes 12 shades with matte and shimmery finishes for $39 each. Will be available May 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at Beulish and at Viseart. I bought the Viseart Soleil palette because I was able to snag it during the Sephora sale and I wore it or I tried to wear it and the pigmentation was so bad. I'm totally returning that palette, you guys. I shouldn't have bought it anyway. I should have listened to my instinct and just not bought it because I tried a few other Viseart palettes that have their shimmer formula and I didn't like it. So I just need to just close that chapter and only stick to the matte palettes because I don't like Viseart's shimmer formula. It's not pigmented enough for me in my opinion. So I would recommend, if you guys like the type of makeup I like, I wouldn't recommend this to you guys um, based off of my experience with the Soleil palette. Beauty Bakery is sneak peeking a eyeshadow palette called Breakfast in Bed. I love the theme, it's a cute idea. Just from the pictures of this like, looks like an Instagram live, it looks like it's a very cool tone palette. Looks to be like there's a lot of mattes in it and like mauve tone matte shades. Um, definitely not my vibe. I'm actually not a huge fan of Beauty Bakery's eyeshadow formula, so I'm going to be passing on that. Nabla is launching a new palette called the Secret Palette, um, and this will launch on May 22nd on their website at 1 p.m. Central Eastern Standard Time. I don't know, S-E-S-T? What time zone is that? Central Eastern? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, the palette, the swatches look gorgeous. I'm like obsessed with that green shade called Addiction and Rosemary and Play Hard. Those three colors are just like calling to me. The swatches of those look beautiful. Like it would be the most gorgeous inner corner highlight. Big Experience looks gorgeous as well. Swatch is like a metallic pink. So all of those are really intriguing. I would like to try Nabla and I also really want to try some of their singles. But... I'm gonna wait on that. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, ColourPop reformulated their ultra matte liquid lipsticks and came out with how many new shades? They came out with a set though and I think there's like 12 shades or something like that. And this is also their birthday month so you know there's gonna be a ton of product coming out this month. I jumped on their liquid lipsticks right away when they first launched because they were so affordable. And at the time there wasn't really a lot of people making affordable liquid lipsticks like you know, now we have like Wet n Wild and like all the drugstore brands are making liquid lipsticks. But when ColourPop came out with it, it was like one of the first most affordable ones. So I bought a lot of their ultra matte lipsticks. And honestly, the formula has gotten better over time. But those first ones were rough and they like pilled up on your lips and blah, 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 blah. So I have since decluttered a lot of them. Um, and these shades look nice, but it's nothing new, and I don't need any more liquid, li liquid lipsticks, so I'm going to be passing on those. But if you're new to the liquid lipstick game, I think those ones would be great. So I'm really, really excited for this new Dior palette. They launched the primer um, for 24 hours on Sephora. It was so funny reading Trend Mood's comments because people were like, Really, what the fuck did you launch the primer for? Like, I want the, uh, the highlighter palette or the eyeshadow palette or whatever, you know? So I'm really excited. I think I'm actually going to get this highlighter palette. I don't know if I'll wait for a sale or just pick it up when it comes out. But I really like the first Backstage Glow Face palette. And I think it's a great way to try a brand, a high-end brand like Dior. Because you get four highlighters in there and it's for a very good price. So I'm definitely going to check those out and very very excited for that okay so i feel the need to talk about this even though it's not beauty related because trend mood always posts about key australia on her instagram story and i love desi perkins a whole lot and i see she's coming out with new high keys these are like the rimless high keys and they're in three colors and she's also doing the don't at me sunglasses with a black fade on may 15th I love Desi Perkins, I would love to support her, but as you guys are my friends, I just want to let you know, I have three pairs of the high keys. When they first launched, I got the blue, the gold, and then I have the black fade high keys. 
they're not worth the money. I mean, each of those sunglasses was like, what, 60 something dollars, 65 I think. And so I've spent over a hundred dollars on them and I wish I had just bought one pair of Ray-Bans because I have, I had, I used to have Ray-Bans and I lost them. I had some Ray-Ban Wayfarers and those lasted so well. My high keys are not in good shape. I don't even wear them all the time. They look sick. Like the design is great, but I don't think the quality is the greatest. I don't think key is worth the price tag. So as your friend, I'm just telling you, don't spend the money on it. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, but I just feel like I wish Desi would just do something else because high keys are not like Key Australia, like the experience I've had with them is not very good. I just don't think they're worth the money. So that is my stance on that. And Dominique Cosmetics just launched a glow palette. They did the Prisma Glow Palette. Includes four highlighters, one balm cream, and three powders. $36. Honestly, I just wish she had done singles. This is like too much for me. The shape is not my favorite. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, I know what concept she was going with, but I don't love it. And so, I'm kind of disappointed in the whole situation. And... I don't plan on picking it up. Also, I don't get enough use out of her eyeshadow palettes, and so I just like don't need to keep buying more stuff from her. Um, but I thought if she had done um, single pan palette, like little compacts, I think that would have been a bit of a smarter move because, you know, highlighter palettes don't end up technically being universal. It's always gonna like favor one skin tone over the other. So, wish she had done singles so people could choose what they wanted to buy. Okay, Huda, I didn't know Huda was gonna launch this, but it's pretty cool. She launched a tan tour. It's a two-in-one contour and bronzer to sculpt your face body uh, with this blendable workout proof, sweat proof and water resistant contouring bronzer cream formula. $30 in six shades I think she has. Um, and then she has a brush for $28. These are already available. Obviously, I'm on a no-buy, so I can't buy one, but it's in my Sephora cart. I'm really excited to try this. I think this is a great dupe. Obviously, I haven't tried it, but just like formula and concept-wise to the Tan de Chanel, the Chanel fucking cream bronzer that they only make in one fucking shade that costs 50 bucks, and the only people that can wear them are light people. Like, I just, I just don't get it. Like, why can't like luxury brands just like get with the times here like we like expensive bronzers too people <laughs> so i'm glad that somebody else did it and now i can just support them instead of supporting a stupid brand that doesn't care about us <laughs> um so i'm excited great price point i think these will be fun i am wearing some cream products on my face today i'm very proud of myself i'm wearing the milk makeup blush in work and their highlighter in turnt I think so I'm getting with the cream stuff yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> okay okay so this is a sneak peek don't know if it's gonna happen but Pat McGrath showed a bottle so people are speculating is it foundation is it primer like what could it be so I'm really really excited to see what she's gonna be coming out with I'm hoping it's a foundation cuz Whew, that'll just be great. Okay guys, just so you know, Viseart is now available in single pans and you can buy them on where? Where, where, where do you buy this? I think just on, oh, it's on Muse Beauty Pro. Um, each shadow is $12 each and the palette itself is $15. I don't think you would have to buy the palette to buy the shadows. So if you have like a Z palette, you could probably just pop them in there. Um, there's 50 shades with their mattes, metallics, crystalline highlighters, chromatic foils, and duo chromes curated from the series of Grand Pro and Slim blah 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 blah. So there's a lot of beautiful colors. The price point is insane. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess technically the 12 pan, no, the 12 pan palettes, the pre-made ones are still cheaper than buying the singles, but... I don't know. I don't, I'm good on the Viseart. I don't need more Viseart, but I know a lot of people want to try them. So maybe this will give them the option to try like four or five shades instead of buying like a whole palette, you know? Okay. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I did see 
that the Milk Gemini palette is coming back and I bought the 27 palette and ended up sending it back because the formula was so horrible it kept breaking every time I opened it so I didn't want to deal so I sent that back. I love my Smoke Session palette and I know they just relaunched that and a lot of people have shown pictures and the palettes just look like they're pressed better so I have a lot of hope for the Gemini and I'm kind of thinking I might buy it if it comes out after my no buy. If it comes out during my no buy I'm not going to break my no buy for it so I'm just going to be fine without it but I thought it was really cool that they were relaunching it and it's nice to see that a brand can take some feedback from their customers and reformulate and do a good job. So that makes me really happy and I'm glad to see that happening. My okay guys, so the next thing I want to talk about is this NARS palette. It's called the Metal Crim Multi-Use Palette. It features a smooth shimmer formula. You can apply it on your eyes, cheeks, and body, your desired intensity. So it sounds like a cream palette and I think I heard Mel talk about this palette and she's like, ah, I'm good with NARS cream palettes for a while. I didn't realize this was a cream palette. I like the shades they pick. They're kind of different, you know, a little bit edgy <laughs> um, in my opinion, obviously. Um, but uh, definitely probably expensive is what I would say. And uh, oh, it says it's available online at Mecca Max. So maybe it's not even coming out to the States. I don't know. My Instagram's freaking out again. Why? Have I been on my Instagram for too long? I don't know. Okay, so skip on that. Jaclyn Hill is coming out with something. Oh my God, stop the press. Stop your lives. Just just hold on because Jaclyn Hill is coming out with something new. Nobody gives a fuck. It's <laughs> literally over her. Okay guys, I feel like this video has gone on forever. So the last thing I want to talk about is my one of my favorite indie brands, Give Me Glow, is launching the Juicy Olive palette. I don't know if I touched on this in my last Will I Bite video, but we'll just talk about it really quick. I am totally planning on getting this palette. It was technically supposed to be like my reward for my no buy in May, but this comes out June 1st and my no buy ends June 7th. But I'm already giving myself an exception on this one because I do love Give Me Glow's formula and I love their palettes. I loved their last one that I picked up from them, which was the Christmas morning palette that came out during the holidays. So I'm really excited for this Juicy Olive palette. And I've been waiting for months since they sneak peeked the packaging. So I'm ready. It's four mattes, two foils, all greens, 30 bucks, June 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna be there for it. So. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's a ton of more stuff we could talk about. Lime Crime and Trixie Mattel and, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. So lots of lots of things and color pops, crazy super shock shadows and a bunch of stuff. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.